Hey Blue Tube, how you doing? Hopefully you can hear me. Um, we're back again for another quick video. Very quick I think today. Um, I don't think it should take that long. Uh, I am going to be doing a hard apple cider, turbo cider. I guess it depends on which side of the pond you're from I suppose. Um, turbo cider in the UK. Who knows? So I've seen a few videos. Um, uh, of people, various different people doing this. Uh, I've never actually done one before. So I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, I was in Aldi shopping today. Uh, I picked up a, a job lot uh, of apple juice. So, um, there you go. Um, so 100% juice from concentrate, uh, one in five a day. So that's good, right? Um, so I've got 10, I've got 10 of these. Like I said, I've not done it before. Uh, I don't mind a bit of cider, um, but I don't want to make 20 litres of it, 25 litres of it, uh, and it come out shit. So, um, as similar, I don't want to just do a tiny 5 litre batch and, and absolutely love it. So, um, you know, sit on the fence, not sit on the fence, but kind of straddle, straddle the line, meet halfway, see if it's any good. So let's go through it. It should literally take about five minutes from what I've seen. So uh, pre-sterilised uh, fermentation bin. I need to get a tripod. This setup's ridiculous. Like it's leaning against a jug and a, a piece of stone in the kitchen. So pre-sterilised with some VWB uh, sterilizer. I think it was from before. Put that there for a minute. Vocal cord lubricant. And the apple juice goes in the bucket, nice and easy. It's just going to be 20 minutes of me doing this, you know. That's all we're here for. It's not. It's not. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so that's a bit slow. Uh, in one of the videos that I saw online, uh, I saw someone stab the bottom of the box. Um, like this. Sharp knife. I don't think it made any difference at all. Because <laughs> it's all squeezing. So you get the idea, right? Be back in a minute. All right, last carton. Uh, whilst I was doing the other ones, uh, I apologise to the person that was stabbing the car th those cartons. It, it does actually work. Um, I'll demonstrate it for you on this last one. So. Glug, 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 right? Gushes out in a flow, nice consistent flow. Fair play to you. <laughs> there you go. Last one, so I don't know if you can see that there, uh, nice 10 litres. Probably another nine after all the crud. Um, it's kind of fell to the bottom and we bottled it, so. Uh, I know you can't see this, um, but I've just taken a gravity reading. It's a 1.040, so I should get a nice strength uh, cider, maybe 5 6%, something like that. I, I can't bother working out. I suppose I don't know what it's going to finish at. Um, and I'm not going to pour it back in because I've not sterilised this because I'm lazy. Uh, so I'm just going to drink it. <laughs> Apologies for this, by the way. Uh, a fluorescent under counter light. I uh, looked at it and it fell off the fucking cupboard. Joke. Okay, so all that's in now. Um, 
I'm going to stick some yeast and nutrient in. Uh, I've got some trinazimol, I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, some of that stuff. Um, for dry table wines, this is for wines, I think, really, but it's just yeast and nutrient in, uh, at the end of the day, I think, so we'll give it a go. Uh, so for dry table wines, use one to two teaspoons per four and a half litres. For sweet wines, use two to three tables, uh, teaspoons for four to five litres. For high alcohol, oh, I don't necessarily need it to be high, high, hot, blah, blah. high alcohol, can't speak. Oh, yeah, that one beer. Um, whew, we'll go for two. In fact, no, that's per four and a half litres, isn't it? So we'll go for, we'll go for three. So, got a bit of a bag left here. I'd say feeling it is probably, probably one teaspoon in there, so maybe a bit more. Comes in, the box comes with two little bags like this. Um, I haven't sterilised my scissors, so maybe a bit over the top, but a bit of stair sound. Probably the worst spray bottle ever. I want it to stay on. Cut the corner off. Pre sterilized teaspoon. Okay, there we go. Sterilized. Okay. Back to the box you go for another day. We're reaching the end. I mean, like I said, this is really straightforward. Um, so, like I said, <laughs> and if you've watched my other videos, you know that I'm quite impulsive already. Uh, so I decided to buy the apple juice um, to make cider. I'm not going to cider yeast, have I? Uh, one idiot. Uh, but. From the videos I've seen, I know people have mentioned using wine yeast before, um, which I've got quite a lot of. I've got some all-purpose white. Um, some people have said using EC1118 champagne yeast, uh, but have commented to say that it's, uh, you know, the results are very dry, uh, which I don't necessarily mind. I don't know my wife doesn't necessarily like cider that much. Maybe it's a bit too sweet. So a dry cider is not that, you know, that big of a deal. Um, I have got some Lalvin uh, D47 yeast, which I've used on mead uh, and rose hip wine before. And both of them have come out absolutely lovely. Um, so I've not researched it loads, I'm not going to lie. Uh, there's a couple of people commented saying, you know, is a little bit better um, to retain a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of apple flavour. You won't know until you try it, will you? Um, so I'm going to go for the D47 Lalvin yeast. Um, over the EC1118 um, uh, yeah, the bottle of Alvin, I don't know if you can see that um, so champagne yeast that's what I use for the Elderflow champagne this year so superb stuff for that not necessarily for, for, for cider so there you go so there you go Alvin D47 If there's anyone out there thinking, what an idiot, why has it not got side yeast, why has it not just wait a couple of days, go to some broom shop, or whatever. You're not drinking it, are you? So if it turns out shit, it's shit, it's me, it's going to end up with an upset stomach or, uh, you know, disgruntled taste buds. Well, that's it. Pretty sterilised stirring spoon. 
give it a stir. Obviously, a lot of it, you know, was oxygenated whilst I was pouring it in, but we'll just, you know, hydrate the yeast a little bit. You're all right. <laughs> what a cretin. Amazon tonight, iPad, tripod. Sterilized lid, loose fit in this, so I'm not even going to be using an airlock. So one side, two side, three side, four side. And this CO2 that it's generating is going to come out through this because it's shit. Um, but you know, it does a job for things like this, you know, I, I use it all the time for uh, country wines, so I've, I've not angled it very well now, I'm pointing in the wrong direction, I've kneeled down a little bit, uh, but we're nearly finished. So, there you go, hard apple cider, it's supposedly easy, it's supposedly good, 55p per litre of this apple juice, so, you know, you can't complain if it turns out alright, can you, so I mean, we'll give it a go, uh, I think it should be ready pretty quick. Um, so yeah, you know, might do a taste test in a few weeks time. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's it, I'll say there.